Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I just want to start off this video by saying I just took a shower, my hair is wet, I decided to throw on this bucket hat that I made to try and make my appearance look a little more put together. I'll link down below the tutorial I used for this bucket hat. It's a free tutorial by another crochet YouTuber named Erin B. Highly recommend. But anyway, for today's video, I'm going to take you guys through the process of making a wholesale order. Now, I am kind of at a love-hate relationship with wholesale orders. I don't necessarily need wholesale orders because I already get a good amount of orders like organic through my Etsy shop when it is up and running so I just decided to take on this wholesale order out of kindness I guess like usually I do wholesale with a store that's actually local to my town but this person reached out to me and I think they're based out of Ohio so I thought that it was a really cool idea to have my plushies being sold in a different store in a different state so I was like okay I'll do it but now that I'm looking at everything I need to make for it and then kind of like the profit margin it is not worth it for me to do wholesale going forward. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. Usually how wholesale works is that someone will buy all of your stuff. So in this case plushies, someone will buy all these plushies from me. But since they're buying in like a pretty high quantity, I discount the plushies like up to 50% off for them to kind of make it worth it because then they'll go ahead and resell my plushies in their store probably at like double the markup to try and make back their own profit. So with all that being said, for example, I'm making eight mini bees for this wholesale order. And usually, well, I guess it's kind of hard to say because I don't sell these mini bees in my shop, but I did try and sell these at my recent market. And I think I tried to sell them for like $8. But for example, for the wholesale order, I'm selling these bees at $4 a piece for eight bees total. So really, the prices are kind of low and I have to still put out so much effort to make all of the plushies. And I'm also operating under a time constraint, which always makes me stressed out. I'm actually going to Italy in mid-June and I'll be there for around two weeks. So I'm trying to get this wholesale order done by then because the person needs all these plushies by early July. So I don't know why I put myself in this situation, but I'm gonna take you guys through the process and I hope you enjoy watching. Also, if you're not already subscribe to my channel please subscribe I love seeing all of my new subscribers thank you guys so much for watching commenting giving me some love y'all are the best I appreciate you guys so I'm really proud of myself because today I got done all of these bees. So I'm in the process of making the last one here, but once I'm done that, I'll be done all of the bodies and then I just need to make all of the wings and sew them on. So honestly, not bad for today. I love these little bees. This is actually my own pattern. I think I'll write it up and sell it on my Etsy because I am just in love with like the shape. Usually I'm really picky of how like bees turn out because I know there's a lot of bee patterns out there but I'm just in love with how this pattern that I made like works up like I think this is the perfect shape whoops my camera died but as I was saying I just think it's like the perfect dimensions and proportions for miniature bees so look out for the link to the pattern in the description box below also to be transparent with you guys this is my wholesale order that I'm working on and the prices that I'm charging which are way too low by the way do not copy me because I am severely undercharging myself, even for discounted plushies for wholesale, this is way too low. But anyway, I'm doing eight miniature bees for $4 for a total of $32. My leggy froggies, I'm doing 10 of them for $5, so that's $50 right there. Dinos, this is gonna be the miniature chubby dinos. I'm selling them for $6 and I'm making eight for a total of 48. My mini triceratops, I'm selling them for five making a total of eight, so that's 40. And then I'm making some mini turtles for a stellar price of $14. And I'm making five of them for a total of 70. And let me do the math real quick to see how much that adds up to because I'm bad at mental math. So don't judge me. Okay, so altogether the wholesale order is bringing in $240 in revenue for me. But keep in mind that doesn't take into account the amount of time that it's going to take for me to make 
everything, the material cost, all that good stuff. That price doesn't include shipping. I'll have to reach out to them and tell them the final shipping cost. But yeah, I just thought I'd be transparent with y'all. Let's get into making some more stuff. I'd also like to say that crochet probably isn't the most wholesale friendly enterprise. Just because crochet is so labor intensive, like everything is literally handmade. Like you cannot mass produce crochet. So the whole idea of wholesale is like selling in bulk at a cheaper price. It just doesn't blend well with crochet. I do know of a few people who do do wholesale successfully with crochet. I actually follow them on Instagram. So maybe I should hit them up and get some pricing tips because I don't think I'm doing it right. Or it just doesn't feel right to me, but my other crochet friends on Instagram, they're like thriving, so I should definitely reach out to them. Alrighty, I just got done making all of the wings. There are 14 in total here because there are seven bees that need wings, so let's give them their wings. I like to sew the wings um, in between the two black stripes because that's perfectly centered and then you can either put them up like this or you can flatten them. I think I like it standing up personally. One down, six more to go. look at them all in a row oh my gosh i am obsessed with these mini bees they are freaking adorable look at their little wings this makes me laugh that this one just kind of like by itself and everyone else is kind of squished but okay we can check this off the list good morning guys so today i am working on getting all of the mini turtles done i have went ahead and made all of the fins heads and tails that's how i usually like to go about making turtles in bulk i like to do like all the fins heads and tails and then i'll go back and make the shells and sew them together but yeah here are the color options i picked out i did a light pink a lavender a light blue a darker green and then another light blue i'm still deciding on the shell colors also i got um one of these fidget toys and this one is like so satisfying to like just pop I actually have been loving it. Someone told me you can use this as a round counter and I never thought of it like that, but honestly it makes sense because you could just like flip it over and say like, okay, wait, let me pop this out. Okay, I just finished round one, bang. Round two, bang. And it could help you keep track. So yeah, that's cool. Been enjoying that. But yeah, let's finish these turtles. Okay, it is much later in the day, but I got all the turtle shells and bodies sewn on together. Now all we have to do is sew all of the heads, which I placed over here. <laughs> Let me grab them. Here they go. Here are all the heads. Look how little the heads are. So cute. But yeah, I really love how all the color combinations turned out. And I'm excited to put on these heads and have my own little mini turtle army. Also, this little opossum is my own pattern that I created. And I actually gave this pattern out to my patrons for free this month, which was part of May's Patreon re rewards. But yeah, this opossum is literally completely no sew. Oh. Why isn't it gonna focus? 
So this possum is completely no sew and I created this pattern because I was so sick of sewing on like the four legs, the ears and the tail. So this is literally no sew and I love how he turned out. He's so cute. Um, I think I'm gonna make some for my market in August, but yeah, I just love how he turned out. So shout out to my patrons. I love you guys. And if you're not a patron of mine, consider joining. I give out free patterns every month, exclusive content, Content, I do a podcast, all that good stuff. So definitely consider joining if you're not a patron already. Whenever I stuff turtle heads, I literally can't get over how freaking cute they are. Like, look at this little baby turtle head. I cannot, guys. And for my mini turtles, I actually use 12 millimeter safety eyes. I don't size down to the six because I think it's cute with the big eyes. But look at the little turtle head. So adorable. One turtle done, four more to go. She's so cute, look at her. Is the camera focusing, there we go. Oh wait, no, it's not focusing. There we go. Look at her, she's so cute, guys. So small, literally so small. <laughs> okay, but like, how cute and how freaking small are these little heads? Like, are you serious? Look at these freaking little baby heads. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I wanna just leave them like this, just little balls. So freaking cute. Boop. They're done. Look at them. They're so freaking cute, guys. Oh my goodness, look at their little faces. I'm obsessed. Look at them all in a row. Um, I cannot, I cannot with the cuteness. Turtle pile up. Good morning, friends. I'm really excited to show you the turtles again because last night I was filming in kind of like dim light. So I'm gonna show you them again because I'm obsessed with them and I love how they look all together in a group. I have them on my laptop. It's like a platter of turtles. <laughs> look at them, they're so freaking cute. Like these are so adorable. I cannot. And like, look at all the different color combinations. Whoop. Okay, I knew that would happen. But like, look at them. They're just precious little babies. So cute. I like don't want them to leave me. I want to keep them for myself. And then this little guy. I'm just like in love with like the baby velvet look. But yeah. All of these turtles got done. And I don't know if I told you guys, <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys yesterday, but I think I'm just gonna do five. Like, I think technically the minimum quantity that I set for wholesale for like mini turtles was eight, but that's just like too much. I'm gonna call it at five. But okay, these are the turtle updates. Next, I actually got started on making the next batch of plushies for this wholesale order. I am making eight Triceratops next. And I actually got all of the Triceratops done last night. These Triceratops are like super quick and easy to whip up. Like, look how small and like, look how cute it is. Ah! I'm currently in the process of sewing on all the horns. That takes me a while. I save that for last. And then all I have left are the eight chubby dinosaurs and the 10 leggy froggies. And I might revise those quantities as well too because it's already Friday and I really need to have next week dedicated to finishing up my sunflower turtle pre-orders. So we'll see how it goes. I have been getting through the wholesale order pretty quickly, but I think the chubby dinosaurs are gonna take me a while and making like eight of them, that's a lot of sewing because you have the spikes, the legs, the arms, and the tail. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna decrease that quantity down from eight to five, kind of like the turtles. And then the leggy froggies don't take me that long, but maybe I'll do like eight instead of 10, yeah. 
All right, let's get crocheting. So you can see I have all of the Triceratops right here on my desk. So some of them have horns, some of them don't. So I'm gonna separate the ones that I'm already done. So it's all these babies are done. So really, oh wow, I only have like two left to go, which is nice. Oh, I'm gonna pop down here because I feel weird talking to you guys and you can't see me. I think my favorite part about making plushies in bulk is seeing them all together. Like there's something about seeing plushies congregated together like this. It just gets me, like it's so freaking cute. Okay, let's finish these guys who are naked right now. They do not have anything on their face. So let's make them some horns. Oh, and I'm actually repurposing this duck that I botched and did not like. So I stopped making it and like cut the head open. And I explained this in my other vlog to you guys, but yeah, it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it. Like the safety eyes are still in it and everything. Instead of repurposing this plushie, I decided to keep it as scrap yarn. And for instances like this, where I need to use white yarn to put on face decals, I will just use this duck. Okay, so have this. Just gonna cut some strands. It's kind of large. Okay, congregate these babies over to the side. chicken nugget triceratops is good to go back in the group so now I just have this green one and I feel like I feel like this um, camera angle is not optimal so I will check in with you guys when I'm done with the green one and we can crochet the frogs together they're done look at them I put this little guy out here because it's not an even number so he's just chilling there but look at them they're so freaking cute with their little body I cannot okay can check off the triceratops off the list they're just so fun to play with like if I was a little kid I would be obsessed and would beg my mom to get this for me because they're just so cute. I don't know if you guys caught it in the last clip, but the purple one didn't have a nose. So I went back and added the nose for him. So it's all good. All right. Oh, okay. Off to the TV stand they go. That's where I keep all of my plushies that are done. Before I get started making the leggy froggies, I'm trying to like go back in pictures of the past froggies I made. Look at them, they're so cute. And I'm trying to determine what eye size I used. This looks like, did I? This looks like a 12 millimeter, but I feel like that's too big. Like, I don't know, cause I'm running out of my six millimeter eyes. So if this is six millimeter, I don't know how many froggies I can get done today cause I don't have any eyes. I ordered some yesterday and they're supposed to come this weekend. So might have to put a pause on the wholesale order and switch back over to sunflower turtles. But let's give one a shot and see what we got to work with. I'm gonna grab my iPad and pull up the froggy pattern. I did get a few questions from you guys. Oh wait, my iPad is dying. I did get a few questions from you guys asking how I like use my iPad for crochet and my crochet business. And let me tell you, I love the iPad mini. This is the iPad I use. I got it last year. I originally had like the iPad Pro and like the big 12 inch one but I found it was like just too big for my liking. Like it was just too big for me. Like I felt awkward using it and bringing it around just because it was so big. So I was like, okay, let me size down to the mini and it was perfect. It is the perfect size for me. I take it all the time on the go with me when I'm crocheting in like the car or just out and about, like just throw it in my bag. It is the perfect size. It is so lightweight and I use the app Notability and that is literally where I store like my hundreds of patterns and that way they are all in one place. 
I can pull them up when I need them. And you have the Apple Pencil that can help you cross out rounds as you finish them so you can keep track of which round you're on because that is something I struggle with. I lose my place all the time. So having the Apple Pencil is super helpful because I will literally just cross out rounds as I finish them. Scrolling through these patterns, like, ugh, there's so many that I haven't made yet, and I really, really want to make a lot of these. So I think after I'm done this wholesale order, and after I'm done my turtle pre-sale, I am just going to carve out time for myself, and I'm going to make all of these patterns that are sitting in my iPad, because I really want to make them. Alright, here we go. Here's the froggy pattern. Now this pattern is by not jaded co and i'll have it down below but i am oh i almost dropped my ipad i am so in love with this little froggy pattern it's so easy to do it works super quick and the frogs are just so adorable all right let's get into it i feel like the lighting is so good today like i'm looking at myself i'm like okay this lighting is like on point today Oh, I'm really excited for an upcoming video because I am finally doing my office makeover and I feel like I've been talking about this in a few videos for now just because my office is so disorganized right now. Like, I did end up cleaning it the other day because I just could not function in it. I was like, okay, everything is like literally a mess and it's causing me stress. So I went ahead and like cleaned it, but I'd still say it's like not as organized as I want it. Like it's still pretty disorganized. So I ordered a bunch of shelves. I ordered a bunch of like plastic crates and I'm gonna organize everything. I'm gonna reorganize my yarn wall. I think I wanna do like color coordinated cubes so it'll be color coordinated but then also group the yarn by yarn type so like all of my premier yarn all of my burnett velvet yarn etc also oh my gosh so a few people told me um after i posted my recent video which was the crochet and chat video a lot of people messaged me and were like, hey, just so you know, Premier Parfait Chunky, you're saying it wrong. And I'm like, oh no, I'm like notorious for mispronouncing stuff. Like, I am so bad. If you haven't picked up on it yet, like in my previous videos, I struggle with pronunciation. So honestly, I'm glad that people told me because I would have just kept going with it. I would have kept saying like Premier Parfait Chunky. But apparently you pronounce it Premier Parfait Chunky. So like the dessert Parfait. And after they said that, I was like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so Parfait. <laughs> I'm really excited for Italy because it's been on my bucket list for forever and I am just really excited to eat the food. <laughs> like I think that's what I'm most excited about. Like I want pasta, I want pizza, I want all of the food. So I'm really excited to finally experience like authentic Italian cuisine. I don't know if it's me getting older, but part of me is already like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so tired. <laughs> like, I'm already thinking about how tired I'm going to be like during this trip and after, but I think the adrenaline of being like in Italy will get me through it. That's how you know you're getting old. Like, I never used to think that way, but now literally every time I think about travel, I'm just like, wow, I'm gonna be so tired. <laughs> I'm actually considering vlogging when I'm in Italy. Not so much for YouTube, but just to have like a record of traveling over there and just seeing everything for the first time and like experiencing it. I feel like I definitely would want to like look back on all of that. So let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in seeing my travel vlog or if that's not something you're interested in, I totally understand. I know this is a very crochet focused channel and that is a-okay. I actually think I'm gonna bring some yarn with me and crochet on the flight because that's, you know, like a pretty lengthy flight. And I definitely am one to have flight anxiety. Any little turbulence, I immediately get freaked out. So I need to like zone out. So crochet is perfect for that.
Not Jaded Co. is a genius because truly not having to sew anything on this frog is amazing. And like, I just think it's so cool how she designed the little arm. Like, it's just so adorable. It's so precious. Ooh, now would actually be a good stopping point for me to test out what the eye size should be. I'm gonna insert the little eyes right here into the little bobble stitches. I'm gonna try the 12 millimeter first and let's see. I think that looks like last time. It doesn't like look too big. I think six millimeter would be like way too small. Oh my gosh, why is the lighting going all crazy? Yeah, I think like six millimeter would be too small. So I think I'm good. I can continue on making all these leggy froggies. Look, his little face is done. Okay, it's definitely the 12 millimeter eyes because this looks exactly like how the other ones turned out. So we are good. Look how cute he is. Okay, this is my favorite part of making this frog because when you crochet, he's just hanging upside down and it's just like so funny to me. Look at that. I'm gonna use my handy dandy fidget toy to help me keep track. Even though I just said how I use the Apple Pencil, for ones that kind of have a lot of duplicative rounds, I'd rather have something quick where I don't have to like keep picking up and putting down the crochet to like use the Apple Pencil. Look at it! <laughs> so funny. Okay. All right, we have reached the point where Froggy is basically done. And he is flat and unstuffed, so I just need to stuff him and then sew him up and he will be done. Look at him. <laughs> He's so freaking cute. I kind of honestly like him flat. It's just so adorable. Okay, let's stuff him. So cute. Okay, now let's sew and he will be done. Mr. Froggy is done. Look at him. Let me cross the arms because that is my favorite thing to do with these frogs. All right. And I also like to cross the legs. Whoops, ran out of storage. I had to switch memory cards, but back to what I was saying, this little guy is done. I'm not gonna bore you guys. I need to make seven more of these little guys and then I will come back on and show you all of them in a row. Okay, I lied. I am back. I got done four froggies and I want you to see them. Well, I guess technically three because I already did the green one, but I'm in love with them. Look, fatty green, this like mauve, oh, this like mauve purple, light blue and yellow. Freaking adorable. So cute. Okay, let's do more. Just wanted to check in real quick and show you guys. Okay, here's the progress so far. I got all these little guys done. Just need one more. I think I'll make orange. That way I have a complete rainbow. And yeah, super cute. I love them. Just sitting and judging you. Okay, I'm coming on this view because I wanna hold all the froggies and show you guys. So we got the lavender, the light blue, the light green, hot pink, oh, I can't even hold them all, yellow, <laughs> Wait, I want them to face this way, there we go, okay, yellow, red, green, and this mauve cobbler. Oh, my leggy froggies going home. <laughs> so funny when I'm holding them all. <laughs> okay, so for the dino pattern, I am using Studio Phoebe 22's free pattern that she has on her Instagram. I'll link it down below. I've used this dino pattern for my market, actually. I'll insert a picture here. They were my little chubby dinos. They were so freaking cute. So for this wholesale order, I'm actually making them way smaller. I'm gonna be using a 2.5 millimeter hook. This is the clover hook. Um, I've seen a lot of people on Instagram have these hooks, and that's why I ultimately got one. 
it's okay like i don't know if it's worth the hype it's like plastic so it's not really that like nice to grip but it is what it is so i'm using a 2.5 millimeter hook and i'm using this yarn that is called nap time it's actually by lion brand and they are apparently discontinuing this yarn but the reason why i love this yarn is because it is super super thin and it's velvet and this is different than bernat velvet because that's usually the velvet yarn i use but this yarn is even thinner than bernat velvet baby yarn so i like to use this yarn when i'm trying to make really small miniature plushies so in this case the dinos are perfect so i actually have a bunch i have these two colors like a lavender and a dark navy and then i have white and gray and i have pink and this mint color so what is that that's six colors total i am making five chubby dinos so i have to decide the color combinations that i want but i'll probably not do like an all white dino the white will probably be the spike color so i think i'll go with these these five colors for the dinosaur's base and then we'll just mix and match the colors to make the spikes but all right i think the dinos will take me the longest but who knows i have been flying through this order so hopefully by like tomorrow or at least this weekend i can wrap up this order hello friends happy saturday i just wanted to come on and show you that i made the little dino last night and like literally look how small it is it is so tiny. I did make the two little legs and tail, but I have yet to sew it all together. I did want to show you guys though a comparison. So this is my mini chubby dino that I made for my market a few months ago. And this is the chubby dino I made yesterday. Now this is the same exact pattern. The only difference is the yarn I chose and the hook size. So this dino was made out of Premier Parfait chunky yarn so that's like a size six and i use a five millimeter hook whereas this one i am using that really thin velvet yarn let me see actually what size it says it is so this is a size four yarn and then i use a 2.5 millimeter hook so that is how you can basically change up the size of your plushies without changing the pattern itself like this is the exact same pattern but you get two different size plushies I do get a lot of questions when it comes to my Dumbo Sunflower Turtles. People ask like, oh, did you like change the pattern or whatever? And I'm like, no, the pattern is exactly the same. The only thing I changed was using a thicker yarn to make it bigger and then also sizing up my hook to make it like super big. So yeah, I hope that helps. I'm gonna try and get done another dino today in this really pretty like seafoam color. And then yeah, hopefully by tomorrow I can have this wholesale order done. Okay, so I just got done making the mint green. Look how gorgeous. But I also wanted to show you guys the difference between these two. So as you can see, it's really not that noticeable, but if you really focus, the pink one is slightly bigger. I guess you can see like side by side. It is slightly bigger. And that is just due to the tension that I used with the green. It was probably a little tighter versus the pink. I was a little looser and that's why it turned out slightly bigger. So with crochet, it is, it is kind of hard to be consistent, to be honest, like completely consistent because you have to have the same tension. And of course you have to work with the same yarn and same hook. I do try my best to be consistent with my plushies, but with all of that being said, it is still pretty hard. And I feel like as I keep practicing, I'll definitely get better. But yeah, it's just amazing to me that so much goes into plushie size. I truly did not understand plushie size when I first started out. So I thought it would kind of be helpful to explain to you guys in this video. So hopefully that made sense. All right guys, I finished the five dinosaurs and all of their little parts. So now all I need to do is sew them all together. Now I noticed that some of them came out like way smaller than the others. Like the gray turned out way smaller than like the pink. Like look at that. Oh well, I guess it's just cause of tension. We're gonna go with it. All right, sewing time. Okay, 
Look at these I got done. I'm surprised I was able to sew all of them because it's like 12 o'clock and I actually sewed them correctly. The gray one turned out so like stumpy. But yeah, I only have the pink one left to do. I'm gonna do that tomorrow and then we can wrap up this wholesale order. Oh, and I also have to put on the eyes. Good morning, friends. So great news. I finished the dinos and I'm gonna show them to you now. They are adorable. I never made this many color combinations in the miniature miniature size. So I'm excited to show you guys. First up, we have the pink and purple dino. So freaking cute. Then we have the purple and pink. Then we have the mint green and dark blue. Then we have dark blue and mint green spikes. And then lastly, we have the little gray. I found this on the web. Oh my gosh, Siri. Oh my gosh, my hand's shaking. And lastly, we have the cute little gray. He turned out so small, but you know what? It's fine. He is the runt of the litter. Let me try and pick them all up now because I always love getting that shot with like all of them. Oh my gosh, almost dropped it. I don't have enough hands for this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to like choke hold them. Like, I'll show you guys what I mean. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, wait. I want to just hold them. Here we go, all of my, oh shit, <laughs> shoot. Here we go, all of my little dino friends. Here we go, let me position them better. Oh, oh my gosh, I keep falling. Ah. Okay, here we go. Aren't they so cute? They're so cute. All right, I'm officially done the wholesale order. So let me go grab everything so I can pan over. But yeah, that wasn't as painful as I thought, to be honest. But I'm definitely glad I like decreased some of the quantity of these because that would have just been a lot. But yeah, let me go grab everything. Oh my gosh, guys. Can we take a minute and look how gorgeous this little selection is? We got our little mini turtles on the bottom, then our mini dinos, leggy froggies, mini triceratops, and then the bees. Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with how this turned out, guys. Look at it. Now I just gotta go pack her up. So I just finished putting all the plushies in this crate and it's so cute. So just to recap everything with all of the different modifications I did to the quantities, I ended up making 34 plushies for this wholesale order. And it took me around three to four days. It didn't take me as long as I thought and I'm really thankful that I was able to get it done in the time that I did because I still have turtle pre-sales that I need to complete and I need to get ready for my trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it answered some of your questions when it came to to selling wholesale. I can't remember if I talked about it in the beginning of this video, but I just wanted to say that wholesale is a really cool opportunity for you to get your plushies in stores and kind of in other states. Like I'm shipping this wholesale order off to Ohio. So that is really, really cool. There are the pros and cons to wholesale. One of the pros being, you know, you get to have your plushies in stores. You don't have to worry about selling these. You will hand it over to a store and it's basically that store's problem and you'll get paid up front. But one of the biggest downsides includes wholesale price and having to discount your plushies quite a bit to align with kind of like the wholesale pricing mindset which is buying in bulk gets you a large discount a lot of the times I feel like wholesale is being sold at 50 40 30 percent off and that directly is taken you know out of your profits and it's really hard with crochet like I kind of said earlier because you are physically hand making all of these products so giving that big discount on like a bulk amount of plushies I don't know if it's worth it per se a lot of people did reach out to me on Instagram and was kind of wondering how to get started with wholesale and if I thought it was worth it I gave them my honest opinion and said I probably won't be doing it in the future just because I know I would be able to sell all these plushies on my shop for full price but I know that everyone's situation is different if you're just starting out wholesale is a great opportunity for you to get like a big order in and have all of your plushies in store so honestly it just depends on the person and it also depends on who you're doing wholesale with so there's definitely room for negotiation I think and just make sure you don't undercut yourself and yeah I have to tell myself that all the time do not undercut yourself because it is a lot of work 
but it definitely is satisfying to see the fruits of your labor and I feel so, so good to be done with this order. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so, so much for all of your support. Shout out to my patrons. You guys are the best. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>